Steve Irvin. And I'm Katie Rammel. We start with a story you'll only see right here on ABC 15, a dramatic day in court as jurors were just ordered to report after a long delay in the jail death trial of a diabetic mother denied her insulin. And now those jurors are facing questions about whether they were tainted during that delay. ABC 15 investigator Dave Biscoping is live in the newsroom with our exclusive story. And Dave, there are concerns that this could end up in a mistrial. Without question, Katie, it's been 43 days since the trial of Deborah Braylard was suspended. Now we're learning that several members of the jury may have been exposed to outside information about the case. It's time for you to go. Even though county supervisors agreed to settle behind closed doors, this chaos caused two board members to change their vote. Now the whole trial is up in the air. We have concerns about his ability to be fair here. The ABC 15 investigators were the only ones in court on Tuesday when attorneys argued that some of the jury should be disqualified. Turns out that long delay may have tainted four jurors. Juror number one. She was curious and she looked on the internet. Juror number two. He told the court that he knew that the settlement was seven figures, that he knew it was three point something million. But well, what if he brings that number into the jury deliberations? Juror number three. Uh, he read a newspaper article that the county opted not to settle. Defense attorneys also say a fourth juror was angry because she had to cancel the rest of a deer hunting trip in Minnesota. She also um, talked about this case with both her boyfriend and with her Boss. The jurors were questioned one by one in the judge's chambers. The county's attorneys argued all four should be disqualified. And what could happen then? The court still may make a finding that there's been a waiver of jury trial. That means the judge will hear the rest of the case himself and render a verdict. He's already expressed his frustration with how Maricopa County officials flip-flopped on a settlement. This has already consumed substantial resources of Pinell County in the trying of this case. The county has put us and plaintiffs at an incredible disadvantage. My hope is, is that the prime focus this week is going to be on trying to get this matter resolved. The county has already spent more than $2 million on legal fees in this case alone. So regardless of what happens, that cost is only going to get higher. And as of right now, this trial is expected to resume on November 26th. Yeah, it's getting very expensive, and, and who knows what the settlement will be mm -hmm. eventually. All right, thank you. Well, just in.